If you're planning to buy a property here in Claremont, make sure that you consider buying right now is just because What is going on guys? This is Arjay Bautista, top realtor here in Central Florida with EXP Realty. Today, I'm just gonna talk about why you should move here in Florida and live here permanently or settle down here or buy some property and start investing. If you want to know more why, please make sure to stay tuned in this video from this start until the end and I will explain everything why you should consider this option if you are willing to relocate or buy some investment property. All right, but before I start this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome please subscribe if you haven't done so and the most important thing smash that like button for me and if you found this value and helpful please share this video in all your social and i would highly appreciate that one lastly but not the least i know i'm talking too much i haven't started yet but i just want to clarify that i am not a financial advisor i am not accountant or a lawyer i am a realtor here in central florida the intent of this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only are we good in that one so let's jump into it so first thing that I would like to say here why you should move here in Florida is because the tax here is so much lower compared to other states like New York California you know those states the taxes that you need to pay there is ridiculously high but that's a good point why you should move here in Florida and settle down here next reason that I would like to talk here is if you are going to move here when you buy a property and you become a homeowner what you could do is you can save some taxes in your property is just because like once you have some property you can deduct those property at the end of the year and put in your taxes and deduct those taxes for your income so that you can save some money so which is really really good but if you want to know more about taxes as I said before I am not an accountant you know you could reach to accountant if you need more information or if you need some contacts about the accountant I know like a good accountant here in Florida which you could help you to explain more more about taxes because hold on it's itchy what it's just because like i am not an accountant so all i could say here is just some basic information which could, could help you and decide move here and stay here in florida i love florida because as you know i'm a filipino i'm born in the philippines i grew up there i stayed there for 17 years and i moved in the united kingdom if you don't know about that stuff i stayed in the united kingdom for 16 years i moved here in united states specifically here in florida i felt like i came back to the philippines Philippines where I originally from and I love it the first thing that you need to consider as well if you move here in Florida is the weather if you are the person who doesn't like cold country or cold state especially like the snow especially the traffic and also crowded area hold on what's going on here Here you go sorry about that so especially like the crowded area like new york city i know those places are like ridiculous when they come the weather especially like when the weather is really bad the snow is really high the snow is really thick sometimes you have to get a shovel to clear up your driveway you know to park in your driveway compare here in florida you don't have to do that stuff but instead all you need to do is just get your grass cut down all right but i rather cut my grass down rather than you know shoveling all the snow like thick and high snow in cold places or in different state area which has like a really bad snow that's a good thing here in florida and also here in florida the lifestyle here is so much calm so much slower compared to the city like big cities like california new york city you know all that big cities they have like very 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 busy lifestyle especially if you want to go to the new york city in manhattan i've been there by myself and i know it's good it's gorgeous but the people there are so busy it's walking back and forth and sometimes you have to walk with so crowded area and sometimes you couldn't even walk if there's an event there compare here we are some relaxed and we have more places to go and land to establish your real estate so that's a good another point if you are willing to move here in orlando or here 
Florida. Next thing is like why we should move in Orlando particularly or in South Claremont. Yes, I am in South Claremont. This is my place and this is where I am working at. This is my place, like my area where I'm selling houses, helping families to relocate here, helping some investor to invest here. I'm not saying this just to buy property here or invest here. I'm just saying this is just because South Claremont, the number one thing that you need to consider if you are living here is the Disney World. If you know the Disney World is so much closer here compared to other places like let's say if you have some kids and you want some social life if you want your kids to get busy excited this place particular in South Claremont is the best place thing to establish or settle down yourself and also the good thing here in South Claremont is they are allowed to do short-term rental because some cities or some counties here in Orlando especially the Orange County remember those county they don't accept a short-term rental okay it's just because they have some law that they need to follow so that one of the law is like short-term rental is not allowed but I believe that the long-term rental is allowed compare here in Lake County which is the South Claremont located or Oshola County which is the Davenport or Kissimmee side we are allowed to do some short-term rental in fact i am currently working with my out-of-state client he is looking to buy a property here just to do a short-term rental for now and then his plan after two years or three years he wants to move here and start living on the property that he would like to do for short-term rental that's his plan and the good thing here as well like in some property you can get like a property to do for short-term rental like for airbnb for home away for vrbo you know all that stuff for booking.com you know those platforms are very hot in here and also the good thing here is when you get a property here i also have some contact for short-term rental properties for managing the property or for the cleaners and also for uh, property management all that stuff i have a huge contact where we could help you to start your business for short-term rental here all right but if you want more information i will put my email address down here and also my work phone number down here you could either text me or email me whatever works for you do that one and i will do my best to communicate with you as soon as i can if you have more questions not just about the short-term rental but you know to live here to buy a property here you know feel free to reach back to me as much as you can and i will promise you i will get back to you as soon as i can okay so lastly but not the least that i would like to include here in my video is some clients that i am working here like out of state we want to relocate here they are looking for a good school system i know good school system here in orlando i could give you some bullet points or points where you could see yourself or see your kids to live in this particular place okay make sure you take note of this so you could search it by your own i will give you some places where the good school system you can find okay so number one one that I would like to give some good school system is Lake Nona okay that Lake Nona is located in Orlando which is not far from the MCO if you don't know the MCO that is the international airport here which is not far from Lake Nona and the school system there are very good in fact they are like number one school system here in Orlando so if you are considering yourself and you have kids that you would like to move here and you know live here permanently check out out the Lake Nona area and that Lake Nona area I believe that they are in Orange County it's part of Orange County okay so number two is the Winter Garden Winter Garden is a big place it's a beautiful place I love that place once you visit that place just one neighborhood there you know you will feel like you are in very nice area so the school system there are very good too if you want to check out more information what you need to do is just visit the website or ask Google like winter garden school system and they will give you some information about that one winter garden is one of the best place that I ever been as well so I recommend those 
area as well to my clients which would like to relocate here and get some good school system for their kids okay last but not the least of course i will put my area here which is the claremont claremont is a good place i love claremont is just because like you can do a lot of stuff here if you like the view the hills and some lake view i would recommend claremont is just because claremont is located in lake county they said lake county is just because claremont is surrounded of lakes that's why they put in lake county and that's what they call lake county i like the view here i like the lifestyle here it's just so quiet and also it's not just quiet but not the quiet of very quiet which is boring in fact like it is quiet but you have things to do you have things that you can visit as well you don't have to go somewhere else if you want to get something for yourself if you know what i mean you know they have like particular area where you can visit in fact i would add here like the olympus olympus is building up here in claremont which is particularly between North Claremont and South Claremont. They will be building there and I believe they will start opening that one within two to three years from now. Today is 2022, I believe. <laughs> I believe within 2025 or 2026, the Olympus will be open and the real estate prices here will be going up. So if you're planning to buy a property here in Claremont, make sure that you consider buying right now. It's just because like I just giving you some information which could have potential for your property. Once you bought a property before this Olympus built, you know, you have a chance that your property will go high as well once they become, you know, building different area here Claremont is growing as well we have like some places that they are building a lot of shopping center retail center it means like this area is growing it means like people are keep moving here it means like they need to build some more amenities for the people who would like to move here that's why I always saying like Claremont is the best place to live here in Florida all right so this is the video for today I know I'm talking too much I know this video is too long but if you stay in this video until this end comment down below let's go so if i've seen some people who type that let's go until this end i really appreciate staying in this video until this end and thank you for listening in my video and watching my video i really appreciate your time once again thank you for watching and i'll see you on the other side peace florida with exp realty today oh my God. Uh, i'm sorry let's do it again part two